Okay. So you ready? Ball <laughs> intro! Alright, hey guys, my name is Orange Balls, and today, as you can probably see, we're doing your video recording, but if you're listening in on SoundCloud, because we're doing both SoundCloud and video from now on, so that way anybody that wants video or doesn't want video can have whatever they want, uh, welcome to the show. Um, to start things off, we're going to start talking about a little bit of modding, because Witcher 3 just came out, and Witcher 3 has now uh, started to allow mods to be released and some of the first mods coming out are anything from high quality gender swapping mods with that involve nudity and things of that sort to full-on face melting and floating heads so uh if you're looking forward to modding witcher 3 get on that because it's starting up right now uh buskies do you want to start the next part or should i just jump into it i just realized i didn't even introduce myself hello everyone i am buskies Okay, we're good. Um, My bad. <laughs> oh, it's good. I was sitting there I thinking, thought about I was, it, and I was going to be like, oh, hey, I forgot to say that Buskies was on the show this week, and I was about to start the next part, and then I was like, oh, shit, I should just let him do it. <laughs> I couldn't remember if I introduced myself or not. That's... <laughs> oh, God. Um, who would want nudity? Gender swap. Fucking weirdos. I mean, you could become a girl and then run around with your bare ass and then fight people, I guess, if you really want that. That's... Oh, here, let me, let me, just, here, here, take my clit. Oh, <laughs> like... <laughs> yeah, that's the thing in Witcher 3 now. You can just fight people with your clit. Sure. Fucking weirdos. Yeah, you just, it just dangles, you start <laughs> swinging it. Alright, too far. Um... <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> um all right, so the release date for Batman Arkham Knight is coming up quickly. Anyone who is a big Batman fan, be ready for June 24, 2015. Um God, you want to give the like the the lowdown of this cuz I have no idea about Batman. All righty. Well, for those of you who have played the other Batman games, uh, Batman Arkham Knight is going to take the world of uh, Gotham City, or the area of Gotham City, rather, and make it into something that is five times the size of uh, Gotham that it was in Arkham City. So for Arkham Knight, it's going to be five times bigger. It's going to be open world like it was in Arkham City and all the other... Well, I'm not sure if Arkham, uh, Arkham Origins or Arkham Asylum was open world, but... Uh, it's going to be completely open world, just like Arkham City was. It's going to be five times bigger, and now you get the uh, Batmobile. You'll be able to drive around in the Batmobile, and you'll be able to have uh, the Batmobile just completely um, come to your position at any point that you would want to. And you can be gliding from in the air, drop straight down to the street, and land in the Batmobile as it pulls up right under you. Um, so that's a cool little feature that they've showcased so far. I'm sure there are others, but I haven't looked into it because I don't like spoiling myself on games and movies and shows and things coming up in general. Um, so it's going to be set up in Gotham, as I said, but it's going to be evacuated. And instead of like Arkham City, where they made Arkham into a section of the city, the entirety of Gotham has been overrun by criminals. Um, so far, what they've showed of... Uh, different villains that you'll be able to fight is Poison Ivy, the Penguin, Scarecrow, Firefly, Harley Quinn, Two-Face, the Riddler, and a new enemy called Arkham Knight that was made by the game's creator in uh, conjunction with DC Comics. So that's going to be cool. Uh, Joker hasn't been shown so far considering he kind of died at the end of Arkham City. I don't care if that was a spoiler, the game's been out for years, you should have played it by now if you're going to play him. Um, since he died at the end of Arkham City, he hasn't really been shown as, you know, a coming up character in the game. But, in my personal opinion, I don't think the Joker has really died, so he could be showing up again. Um, for, uh, heroes that'll be working alongside Batman, the ones shown so far have been, uh, Robin, Nightwing, and Catwoman. 
So it should be interesting to see what's going to happen. I'm uh, pretty sure I heard that you can also swap between characters. So while you're in the middle of a fight as Batman, you can swap over to Nightwing and continue a combo that you set up as Batman with Nightwing and just go back and forth and just do a whole bunch of combo takedowns. It looks like it's going to be a ton of fun. Um, you want to like super on? free roam? Yeah, it's, it's completely open world free roam. You can go over the entirety of Gotham, go up to Aspire, jump down, glide all over the city, all sorts of things. Um, right. So, speaking That's of Bat... Yeah, speaking of Batman and the type of things, do you want to uh, jump on Suicide Squad? Yeah, um, so anyone who has not already you know, been told or known about Suicide Squad, they've been working on it a lot. Uh, I think it's a Canadian movie. I think they're. I think it's all being filmed in Canada, which is rare for a, like a, a hit movie because Canada doesn't make hit movies or a piece of shit. But whatever, eh? <laughs> um, in Toronto, though, they shut down Young Street because they were filming a car chase between Batman and the Joker, and this was really important because nothing's been released about the Joker, nothing's been released about Batman, but for the first time they. They just were carefree, I guess, about it. I mean, it's Toronto. There's five million people. You got someone's gonna see it. And the most important thing that the internet's been going crazy on: anyone who has seen The Wolf of Wall Street, pretty sure his wife, the blonde girl, she's an Australian actor, correct? Or actress. I believe um, so. She is starring as Harley Quinn in Suicide Squad. You don't know who Harley Quinn is. She is the Joker's girlfriend, and this Australian actress is super hot. That's so. a that's a bit a bit much to say that Harley Quinn is Joker's girlfriend. It's kind of estranged between being girlfriend, playmate, wife, and anything else. Essentially, <laughs> and just sick and twisted partner. They're insane, and they do things. That's about their their biggest correlation. Um. um. My, my girlfriend asked me to prom because she asked me uh, on her board, it says, quote, Aaron, will you be the Joker to my Harley Quinn at prom? Oh, man. Because I am mentally deranged. You know <laughs> me? I am literally mentally deranged. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to open up for a second here. I actually did something like that with my ex. Um, before we started dating, I was trying to drop a not-so-subtle hint that I was interested in her, and she she dressed up as uh, Harley Quinn and went around as Harley Quinn for uh, a Halloween costume inside the school because we were both in high school at the time. And uh, so I sent out a message on uh, Twitter saying, "I'll be the Joker to your Harley." It was pretty bad. All right, I think my roommate's at my door. Knock knock. Pleasure time. That's what his roommate's like. Hey. Hey. <laughs> hey. Hey. Um, we forgot hey. one major thing in games, and when we were first writing all of our stuff, I forgot about it as well. Elder Scrolls Online's coming out in, like, literally a week and a half. Two weeks, maybe, at most. Like, for console. This I know it's been out for internet. a while. You don't want to show that in the middle of a camera, dude. See, I told you, it was pleasure time, guys. Nah. You see this? You can see where I'm pointing. It's a bag over weed, here. A bag of weed. Now everything is better with a bag of weed. You don't need meth, and you don't need speed because he's got a big bowl bag of weed. Anyways, bags. I like. <laughs> <laughs> I like wheelbarrows. That's, wheelbarrows. That's more accurate. Um, <laughs> gotta go ride down the store in the middle of the wheelbarrow. The <laughs> <laughs> wheelbarrow of weed. Dear God! <laughs> um, when okay, so I got a question. Are we putting yeah. in clip of the week at the very end? We should do it right now. Yeah, because we're yeah, talking about right now. I'm, movies. Not, I'm not even going to cut this part out. We're going to talk about the clip of the week this week. So, as we've been saying, submit your clips of the week. We have a thing right at the top that says clip of the week and things go here. In the Tango Live sub forum thing, it's really you, easy are to you get to. you pointing where? I'm just where putting my is. hands up and jumping around. You know, it's, it's right at the top of the Tango Live board. It's really, really easy to find and get to. So I don't know why people haven't found it and started posting to it. But we finally have gotten some submissions to it. 
Um, the two runner-ups for submissions this week were Kibbles and Nis or Nise. I don't know which way to pronounce it. I'm sorry Not if I'm both runner-ups. One one. We chose. Well, no, they were the runner-ups out of the two of, of all of the different submissions, and they were the fi- okay, yeah, finalists. Whatever. Kibbles, Kibbles and- is the runner-up. Kibbles is the runner-up. Nis won this week, unfortunately. Sorry, Kibbles. Uh, but today we're going to be showcasing uh, Nis's clip of the week. If you're listening on SoundCloud, you're not going to be able to see it or hear it, unfortunately. But I recommend you, you go and find it. If you go and watch the video version of this and skip to about 11 minutes and 10 seconds, so that's about when I'm going to be putting it in, you should be able to find the clip of the week for this week where uh, Nis takes on, uh, it's either a 1v5 or 1v4, takes out three or four on cat protecting a site and then goes towards a long doors and takes out the final guy to end the round Things that they don't do. Together we can make a stand. You can take some Cuz I can use a help and line. We'll move to the ocean. <laughs> It was really, really cool. It was a very good... Well, I mean, when I watched the clip, I think he took out four on Cat and then took out one near Doors on uh, A-Long. But either way, it was a really, really well-played uh, section of the match. Really, really nice. Thank you for the submissions. Please submit more. We do a picking every week of what's going to be the next clip of the week, and we make the final decisions on those on about Wednesday or Thursday when we make our whole list for what we're going to talk about. Um, as I posted, we were going to do a huge anime section, but unfortunately, uh, I do not have a lot of time. I kind of got ransacked by a whole bunch of shit this week. Um, a whole bunch of my plans started to fall through, found out I'm going to be out of a job because the place I'm working at is closing. Just a whole bunch of shit I wasn't expecting ever to happen. And it all happened in the course of two days. So, um, to, to make a long story short... All of this stuff that we were going to talk about this week, uh, PC building stories, um, some cool clips from PCs that are like made by professionals, um, the entirety of what is the Nasuverse in uh, anime discussions for anime and visual novels and things of that sort. Um, we'll be talking about that either next week or the week after. We'll get that in there. Um, tech is probably going to be next week. We had a couple other things for games and... Uh, modding and such that we just weren't able and movies even that we just weren't able to get in we'll be getting those in next week so i'm sorry for missing out on those but that's about all the time we had for this week um if you guys have any comments or suggestions please put them up on the forum page this is going up on the youtube comments the uh, soundcloud comments i do check them pretty regularly at least once a week if not more if i get the chance to in my busy schedule so please uh give them a check just uh, leave a comment, like it if you're on SoundCloud, if you can do that, I don't know. Um, enjoy, have a good week, guys. Uh, if you haven't already joined Tango Worldwide and you're seeing this on SoundCloud or on YouTube or something like that, please take a look at TangoWorldwide.net. That is the group that this is made for originally. It's really, really fun. So uh, please check this out check out all the other episodes they're all up on youtube or soundcloud or a playlist they're all together in different sections in the tango live sub forum uh so that's about it for this week uh buskies do you have anything else you want to talk about i would just like to thank everyone for listening um and also some food for thought they took off taxes off women's tampons in canada Officially, GST and HST no longer exist on women's tampons. Why tampons in general? They don't have male tampons. Perfect. We got the thundering applause and everything. (laughs) We're done!